Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the Young Adult Novel Essence, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on the book Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. Now, first of all, I basically, this is one of those books where I saw at Barnes & Noble, I didn't know anything about it, and I kind of looked at the cover, and when the cover is companioned by these two stickers, you think, oh my god, it must be something amazing. But frankly, I hadn't heard too many people talking about it, but it's been out since I believe 2011, so it could be that I just missed all the hype. But basically, Where Things Come Back is a story of a boy whose brother goes missing, and at the same time that happens, this mysterious woodpecker is that is supposed to be extinct is spotted, supposedly. This little town is putting all this hype out about this woodpecker that's finally come back and it might bring business and all that stuff and this brother's just really pissed off because you know they're all concerned about this woodpecker that came back and they're supposed to be concerned about the fact that his brother has gone missing and has no clue what happened to him. In the end I ended up giving this book a five out of five stars. I originally gave it four and a half out of five. If anybody follows me on Twitter they saw the original posting from Goodreads that I had that said I gave it four and a half because I didn't find the story itself interesting. Like I didn't care about the stupid woodpecker. Like I was like this is stupid What's the point? And it's weird because it gives you two different complete stories and you're like, why do I care about this guy who is doing a mission religious retreat thing on the other side of the world when all I care about is the fact that this boy just went missing. I don't care about this guy who's doing this mission treatment in Africa or whatever. But it's amazing to see as the story progresses how it slowly starts to connect with each other and how things go hand in hand. And I thought that was just amazing. And the writing style is very disconnected at some points. You'll get the first person point of view from the main character who is Colin. He's the brother of the boy who goes missing. And a lot of the time you'll have first person from him and then right before the chapter closes or that section closes, he'll start saying when blah 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 like he's telling a story except that's actually happening. I, I got a little confused by that first thinking it was a dream sequence. But when he would say, you know, when blah 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 blah, when one does blah blah blah, it's like your mind is blown by the writing because it's so beautiful and I'm not doing this book justice, but it's really good. And it's interesting because he puts complex situations into such simple words and there were, there's a lot of, there's like three spots in this book where I absolutely had to stop dog ear and like highlight or underline something because it, the writing was just that good. And I don't do that that often, mostly because I'm lazy, but that just shows that I was willing to get out of bed, grab a pen, and underline something. But I just can't get over the writing. Like, the story itself was okay. It wasn't a great story. That's why I almost gave it four stars at first because it just wasn't that interesting. Like, it is, but it's not at the same... Like, the beginning of the book, it's like, eh. But then by the end of the book, you're like, oh my god. Like, the writing, the way the author puts things, you're like... Sitting there, and your mind is blown, and stuff. And that's all I have to say on that, <laughs> on this book. Um, obviously, it has two awards, so it did something right. And I, frankly, I, I ended up loving this book. Like... The longer I sat on it, the more I fell in love with it, and now I just, this this is a really good book, and you should read it. Anyways, that was my review on Where Things Come Back. Comment down below if you've read it, or if you have any book recommendations for something similar, or just tell me what you're reading right now. And thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.